and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Teamer Ilharg. So this is a different kind of donation deck here where we are just trying to take full advantage of Ilharg the Razebore in conjunction with Galta Primal Hunter. So we have Galta and Ilharg uh, that we're going to be trying to uh, just, you know, kind of like one shot kill our opponent basically with attacking with Ilharg, putting in Galta. The other thing that we get to do with Galta or Ilharg, either one, is we're trying to put those two cards uh, into our into play at instant speed at our opponent's end step with the, with the help from Thran Temporal Gateway. Um, so this card, well, it doesn't have like a ton of things to put into play. You know, we have, we have like the 10 basically, uh, besides like, you know, if we want to put Tamiyo in there. <clears throat> but the main thing that we're trying to do, or like... The, what this is supposed to be reminiscent of is, uh, from the person that designed the deck, they were saying that it's like um, Etherworks Marvel in the last format, how that would put in Ulamog, uh, that this is similar kind of thing of Thran Temporal, ga using Thran Temporal Gateway to put in Galta and, um, and uh, then kill your opponent, you know, just really quickly with Galta. So that's kind of what we have going on here. Uh, they're saying that they're not so sure about the expansion explosion, and I, I don't think that expansion really fits in here either. I was thinking maybe like some Ronuses. Um, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with ahead and go with the list that I was given here. We do have a lot of basics. I'm a little worried about that with only 23 lands, a lot of basics. Uh, we'll see if you know we can cast our Ilharg. There's only 10 red sources. Um, but we have the Paradise Druids to help, and then we have the ex the Explorer creatures as well. Um, but that's what we have. Like, so the thing that Gateway, so like Small Vivian is still like casting casting cards, um, even though you can put you can put those things into play with Flash with Small Vivian. Um, but it's still uh, casting cards. Um, uh, no hype train. This is. This is not my deck. That's a the donation decks, you know, or that's usually not mine. Um, but so yeah, so small Vivian, you're still casting your stuff. This just puts the cards into play, so it's uncounterable. It reduces the cost of your spells to only four, and it doesn't only have to be uh, creatures. You know, like we get to instant speed in bolus clutches. Uh, this is a legendary uh, permanent, or it's a historic permanent. So we get to put in bolus clutch uh, that card into play with Thran Temporal Gateway. We can put like a Mortal Sun into play with Ran Temporal Gateway from our sideboard, for example, and we don't have to worry about um, counter spells, and also don't have to worry about Little Teferi making it so that you can't play instant speed stuff and all that kind of stuff. But there we go. Let's let's give this a try. Let's see how many times we can get these huge creatures into play and attack. Just smash with some big creatures. with Teamer Ilharg. All right, here we go, first match. That's a f okay looking hand. So 23 lands in the deck, so we already got six of them. <clears throat> so we should be able to start drawing some gas, and of course if we do have too many lands, Hydrocrasis is a perfect card to have access to. So it looks like Phoenix that we're playing against, and Phoenix usually plays a whole bunch of Shocks and Lava Coils, and so Paradise Druid is pretty impressive here. Can't get bolted. Augur of Bolus. They kept both cards on top with Discovery earlier. Yet Augur whiffed. Tamiyo. All right, let's look for Ilharg. Hmm. The moon 
looks intriguing tonight. I think you will find my notes helpful. That was good. Get rid of three lands and draw an Ilharg. That worked out really well. Yeah, that was a fantastic team he took up. It really was. No Ow. one asked for your input. Let's look for the gateway here. Let's go three and temporal gateway. All right. And now Gateway can put in Ilharg, which can put in Galta. Were they hoping to high roll for a Phoenix, or did they actually not have the red mana available? I'm not sure about when you're talking about their inverse. You could use some manners. Yeah, Damien has been so effective for us. Let me aim. Well, we already kind of have. All the cards we need. Hmm. I was it. I was thinking about uh, saying Hydroid Crisis. Even I went with Jade Light, like just in case you know we want to play like a Jade Light plus something else later on. Oh, I think they just wanted to, okay, how they shocked Paradise Druid. Yeah, I think they just wanted to, you know, kill, you know, get rid of one of my mana sources. All right, so that should be lethal. Our opponent does not know about the Galta that's going to come in and kill them. You're making it difficult to work. But we're just going to coil the drake, and that's 18. Oh, they have dive down? No, it's not lethal. That's annoying. All right, well, I could have protected I could have protected against dive down if I would have just grabbed the expansion with Tamio. I was too I thought yeah, I was just too uh, it's too greedy. Or like just, I was thinking that we we're going to be fine. They're at six. No so if I would have just gotten back that expansion explosion to start with, whenever they dive down the crackling drake, then I would how it would work is I would have copied the lava coil and put the lava coil on top of that.
not want to talk. Delta. Yeah, if you ill hargan Krasis, he'll just he'll just die. I don't think I have much of a sideboard here for this matchup. Nope. I don't think I want any of these cards, honestly. So let's just let's just run it back. Let's just run it back. All right, Jade Light and Branch and Branch Walker will help us find our top end. Terramander. Hey, welcome back, Storm. Let's see if we get rid of this. I think the big the big thing about this deck that I would prefer is having Ronus in the deck instead of the expansion explosions. I think that's the the one the one main thing. That I'd prefer. Uh, just from the from the beginning here. Hmm. So I felt like my opponent was going to have another counter spell for the Tamiyo, and I just wanted to get Jade Light in play, which would then help us play Galta, Galta the following turn. Or we can even just play Ilharg. Hey, Flip. Yeah, our opponent's playing Drakes. So many counter spells. Just want to counter all my stuff. <clears throat> um, yeah, Modern Horizons looks like a really, really well done set from everything I've seen about it. 
like looks like a really well designed set. So hoping they are out of counter spells now. Hoping. Do we get Big Mama Galta? Yeah. It's out of the metagame now. That's sad. Attack. Thanks, Yod. Galta is just so so incredible, you know, like it trades with their 9-7 flyer and their 5-5 five, five flyer. Yeah, like their 9-4 flyer, their 5-5 their five, five flyer, and their dive down. It takes all of that just to get rid of the Galta. Alright, got that first one. You know, Ilharg and Galta, especially Galta, is not flashy, but Galta just wins games. You know, like that's. Like we got four Galtas in here, and. Yeah, like I said, it's not like the. It's not like a card that, you know, is like real impressive that you like. Uh, you know, just bury your opponent in all this card advantage, and it's just like, wow, look at how good this card is, and all this kind of stuff, but you just play it, and your opponent dies. And that's it. They're just dead. Game over. Go to the next game. We don't don't have our Galtas yet. We're gonna be looking to find Crixus Control. Tamio does a good job of looking for Galta. I put it as a loss. No. Want to know? There we go. All right, all fixed. In the band song. Hoping they do not have Bedevil or Angrass Rampage. <laughs> Too late, it's a loss. <laughs> I like the Momir format, I think it's fun. Um, sure, we lost a lot today with it, you know, we went 3 and 6 in it, but I thought it was a lot of fun. Spark. And yeah, I like it a bunch. Spark. Defiances infuriate my schemes are never ending. <laughs> I, I've referred to Galta as the scoop bringer for a while now. No, the Momir, the Momir games are really fast. You just play one game. Yeah, we played. We went three and six in like an hour and a half. Hmm. 
They're pretty quick. Well, that made my plus are a lot easier. Hey, Horatio. They haven't about they haven't announced what the next game type will be. I'm sure they'll tell us whenever. You know, like whenever it's there. Witness a moat of my power. So whenever we get one more subscriber here, we'll hit our 20th sub goal to do the next sub battle stream. So if you want to vote on what day that next sub battle stream is, I already put up a poll there. Um, and if you are enjoying the stream and would like to to the library uh, help support as being uh, help support me as the full-time streamer consider hitting that sub button because we just need one more to get to that goal there The next one is Popper. Okay. And then after that is Counters? What is Counters? Like Counter Spells or plus one plus one Counters? But okay, the next one's Popper. Popper and then Singleton and then Counters. I don't know what Counters means. I have other schemes to attend to. My intellect is without limit. Bring a 60 card deck that loves Counters. At the end of each turn, Planeswalkers you control gain an additional loyalty counters and creatures you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. Get an additional plus one plus one counter. If you control no creatures, a plus one plus one counters on them and no planeswalkers, then you get to amass one. So at the so is that at the end of each turn? So you'll just start amassing one. You know, like turn one of the game, you amass one. That certainly feels like a format that's going to really, really benefit Planeswalker control. Right? Because all you, all you need to do is just have like a bunch of rats, like kill creatures all the time. Your Planeswalkers get a whole lot better each turn yeah it's got to be a a super friends format hey magic harry gifting that sub to mrax welcome to the channel mrax and thank you so much santa santa magic harry santa harry there All right, and we hit that sub goal, so we'll crack a pack after this as well. But now, for sure, we're going to be doing our sub battle stream here shortly, so please vote 
when you want us to do that sub battle stream when does it work for you to um, play a match there all right grixis this is going to be tough honestly Like we want a mortal sun negate. I don't think I actually really want three and temporal gateway against Grixis um, for how this is a matchup of attrition. It doesn't doesn't seem to help us too much. I guess maybe we need one for the Galtas and everything. Now let's go with this. Because basically like this this card doesn't do anything on its own. You know, it only helps you put other cards into play. And if we're having a match where a lot of things are trading one for one, having a card that doesn't do anything on its own is not ideal. They put in Spyglass with it. I don't know. They just have like a lot of artifact removal with Bedevils uh, in particular. Um, and then Angrass Rampage 2. I don't know. I mean, I guess just, you know, card gets removed by removal spell isn't a good reason not to play it. But it's basically, it's really good against Nicol Bull's Dragon God, but that's kind of about it. In Bolus's clutches? Why was that the card they took? So I can just use Tamio and get that back. If you wish to surrender, I have just the trick for this. Okay. Mighty warrior, I can see. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. The past is never forgotten. So yeah, definitely using Tamio to minus right away, so that if it gets if Tamio gets contempted, we still gain value from the Tamio. Sub battles are best of three. Who involved with my work? Mm. Something I was a little worried about with our mana base. A lot of forests uh, don't have two red for this. Um, I don't think. I don't think I'm playing a crisis for just three though. And yeah, I guess, yeah, best of three, but I guess if you would want best of one, then I could do that. <laughs> Please run a chase your crew for my freedom. <laughs> All right, so Angrath kills my Jade Light. And then I take the Angrath. And no make them fly. discard a card, plus no then Contempt Angrath the next turn. Yeah, and Bolus's Clutches is really nice. It's like a mass manipulation that you don't need to play millions of blue sources for. I guess because of Lava Coil, we'll just do five. 
I was thinking about doing four and then seeing if we drew like a stomping ground or something like that to put into play, but yeah, let's just do five because of lava coil. Ugh. That's a problem. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. Oh, I do love a good death whale. Well, we do have Ilharg with Negate back up. So that's nice. I train everything with thoughtfulness before action. Good help is easy to find in war. Hmm. I think we just kill both their planeswalkers. So I could attack them down to one. Maybe I just do that. So if I attack them down to one, yeah, actually I should just attack them down to one. I guess this this comes back to my hand at end step. I guess is it one yeah one yeah I'll find a use for you later. so they get two draw steps plus two draw steps plus a narset minus to try to stabilize here basically just mind. killing Ilharg. Almost stable. I don't know. Maybe I should have just killed the Planeswalkers. This is definitely the riskier line of just trying to end the game right away. Okay. I'm all tingly. Or that's it might just be that's game. Good old Paradise oh, Druid's having hexproof. The wind blows in. Good old hexproof. Putrid, but effective. I mean, it did force them to get another like blocker, since I was putting in the hexproof creatures. All right, very nice. All right, we saw a lot more Planeswalkers there, especially like Rao, Liliana. More Planeswalkers than I was expecting, so I'm going to get these Spyglasses in here. Um, and Dangrath, too. Yeah, it's just Planeswalkers all over the place. And then I cut expansions for those. Why do I have all these lava coils in my deck? I just miss like these lava coils. I don't need these things. Get those out of here.
Yeah, we've attacked with Boar God quite a bit so far. All three games we won. Do we even get to play the, the game we lost? Did we get to attack with Boar God also? Maybe. Maybe it's only been two games. Somewhere between two to four games. I could see it being two, I could see it being four. But we've, we've played four games so far, and we've either attacked... I know we've definitely attacked in two of the games, and I can't really remember the other two if we did or not. We could have. But yeah. Oh, that would have been a really good card too, expansion. No, my immortal son. No. Can't really cast that card. Yeah, Boar God Ravager Worm is awesome. For sure, that's a good one. So they're ditching Vraska's Contempt. Hmm. We need red mana. Oh, this Kanta's gonna flip real fast. Definitely for how this played out, being on the play has been super important for our opponent. I got to resolve as Kanta before negates and then Thought Razor before we had negate slash expansion up. Alright, we, we really need more red sources in this deck. There's only 10, and that's just not... That's not acceptable. Why, the immortal Nicolborn. Another time, Planeswalk. Let your weak minds crumble. I cannot exploit. Okay, good, that resolved. I will return one day. Bad part is of course they get to flip this nickel bolus and get that other nickel bolus back. I just couldn't do anything about that though.
mean, if I if I do the four to this nickel bolus, I'm not really beating the other one. No, I was in a really bad spot. We need to bolus his clutches. That's the card I need. Or Immortal Sun. Death. Immortal Sun would be very good too. All will bow before Nicole. Yeah, Immortal Sun. Everything. In Bull's clutches. Power. And I am everything. Not Jade Light. All right, we got a bunch of big creatures, Ugh. but they have six cards plus the ability to draw two, uh, four more plus as Kanta, or they can minus these things. I know what must be done. Hey, Jay Gomez. So not looking good. Ah, my revenge will be painful. Going good, Jay Rockefeller. How's it going with you? Dang. Informant for my study. The storied past holds our future. Well, hopefully, they don't have the devil. <laughs> First card, the devil. Good game. All right, one and one. Yeah, unfortunately, unlike Esper that really struggles with artifacts uh, without having the Planeswalkers, Grixis, not so much. They're very good against artifacts with, especially our opponent. We saw our opponent play multiple Bedevils every single game. So you know they have a ton of those. I guess we're keeping this and trying to draw lands. There you go. That's a good start. Yeah, this is a good donation deck. We have had some good games here. And this one could be pretty sweet here with Temporal, Three on Temporal Gateway putting in Ilharg. So interesting decision here. We, I mean, obviously I'm putting that in the graveyard, but it's whether I want to do library first, then graveyard. So my Jade Light's a four three, so it trades with Spellbreaker, or if I just want to give myself the better chance of drawing a land and just go graveyard immediately. 
I think if I had a fourth land, I would do library then graveyard, but I don't have the fourth land right now. So I was gonna go to so go on graveyard there and that works out with still making it a four three to be able to trade with Spellbreaker. And get rid of an extra card. Phoenix. Alright, perfect. Alright, three anti world gateway. And then next turn Ilharg. No shekel, I'm not. Ronis. It's the card that we need in this deck. Ow. Well, we need to find Galta. I guess it doesn't really matter. Because I forgot, I forgot about Death Touch there for a second. Ronus is nice. We gotta draw a lava coil. That's why I didn't didn't keep the raise bore, because we just had to have lava coil. Opponents doing the same kind of stuff that we're doing, but maybe a little bit better. Definitely get these Ripjaw Raptors in. Hmm. Expansion can certainly come out. Not gonna really be stuff to do with that. Except for, you know, like copying our own lava coil, maybe, but. I think this is kind of all I have. River's Rebuke is just not... This is not a very good card. Like, imagine imagine we had six mana, which we didn't, but imagine we had six mana last turn and ca cast a River's Rebuke. Like, that very last turn, they could still just replay the cards in their hand. And then I'd be in the same scenar same spot. This has been an unlucky game for us. A whole bunch of one and one and two landers. Really, just this this match here, we just kind of see some inconsistencies in the deck of playing a, a twenty three land deck with like the three and temporal gateways. You know, looked pretty bad there. That other game of having just so many of them. No, no. We're gonna have some in inconsistencies with this deck, and that's what's shown here. Rare's Rebuke and the Simic Ramp decks. Yeah, well, in those kind of decks, you can you can get a lot of mana, and you have you have a whole lot of mana creatures and everything, and you can get ahead on the battlefield and have a lot of mana, and then use the Rare's Rebuke to really slow your opponent down. But that's not like this is a twenty three land deck, and we're playing against we're playing against a deck that's more aggressive than ours that gets onto the battlefield faster. 
that's not a matchup where you want like that's not the kind of matchups you want Rivers Rebuke in. Had some bad variants there. Last last game, three of our, th you know, th three copies of three and temporal gateway after mulliganing. This time we mulled a five and we draw three galtas. It's not not good variants for us at all. Well, first two matches, we played some good games and everything. Had, you know, it was a fun deck to play. And first two matches went went just fine. That third match just wasn't competitive. Um, I, I just honestly, like, we have to have Ronus in this kind of deck. Like, whenever we're playing Thran Temporal Gateway and everything... I really think the deck needs like Ronuses instead of expansions. And besides that, it needs more red sources. Ten is not enough red sources. Like the three stomping around, two rootbound crag. Gonna need more of those. I don't think you really need all these crasises. Hey, what's up, feature? Um not having a whole lot of lands doesn't make crisis very good 11th of the day yeah this isn't supposed to be like a, a real competitive deck list it's just it's doing something you know no this is not supposed to try to be like a top tier deck list um we're just using thran temporal gateway to to try to cheat these things in instant speed the opponent's end step and sometimes it happens like we you know got to see how how the how good the deck can be whenever we're playing against the drake list there i think it worked out really well for us so maybe just putting in another rootbound crag over a hydro crisis there you know like that like that could be something also um sideboard wise i really really dislike river's rebuke it's like especially in this deck i think the only time Really, the only time you can get away get away with Rivers Rebuke is whenever you like we talked about like the Simic big mana decks that have a, a ton of mana creatures and things like that that and can have a lot of card advantage to uh, help replace it and everything. I just I don't think we can really play Rivers Rebuke in a deck like this. It just doesn't doesn't do enough. I would recommend taking those out. Um, in Bolus's clutches was pretty awesome. Maybe get another one of those in. That's like a I think that's gonna be a, a more impactful six mana blue card. That could work out a lot better. Alright, Storm, have have a good night. And maybe something a little bit more against aggro, maybe like a Shiv and Fire. that can you know deal four if you have like a lot more mana or just deal two right away maybe something like that um i mean you could go shot because shot can hit uh, what if what if actually what if you just played what if this deck just had war bosses in the sideboard actually that's that's a good idea why don't we just have war bosses for our control matchups. We would not have Spyglass. Just just have like the four war bosses that you bring in. It's a really good side war card. Hey Dink. Good evening. So maybe something like that. Um, could it be better to take out the blue? You don't really need 
the blue. But I mean, if we if you take out the blue, you're just making like the deck that we just played against like that last round, which was a good, which was a really good deck. But um, Tamio was pretty important of helping us find Ilharg and Galta because this this deck is really relying on Ilharg and Galta. So Tamio does a great job of like really going through your deck and finding those. And in Bulls' clutches was pretty key. It was pretty clutch, like sometime. <laughs> pretty clutch. Uh, it was a pretty good card. There. But all right, that's some Teamer Ilharg. So there we go. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for that donation deck there, J-Jack. Um, all right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and of course, thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit that like and subscribe button, like always. But there we go for the Teamer Ilharg donation deck. Uh, well, that's it.